Hey guys, it's May May. Recently, I went on a vacation trip to see my kids out in Texas, and we went to a Christmas store, and we bought these adorable um, Christmas ornaments, which I'm going to use on my Christmas tree this year. And then I got home, and I was like, you know, I think I can make these myself for a lot less money. Now, these range between $3.99 and $4.99. And that's not a terrible price, really. But when you think about what we already have in our craft room and how we could make our own ornaments using our stash, we always love to find a way to use up our stash, right? Check this out. So I'm going to use one of these pages that looks like this. And pretty much every paper pad that you buy nowadays has one of these pages in it or something similar. This one worked perfectly for me because of their shapes being so uniform. And I want to make a bunch of ornaments. So I'm going to take this page and I'm going to cut this guy down everywhere these guys intersect and get a whole bunch of little pieces. Matter of fact, I'll get 12. Now, if you're wondering, this is from the Illustrated Faith Christmas set. I'll be sure to link all the products that I can below. So you guys, if you want it, you can find a way to get it. This we actually have in the store, so I know you can get this one. So let's cut this guy down. I love these pages. I used to not. I used to buy paper packs and these pages would come in and I'd be like, what am I gonna do with all those little pieces? And I just didn't know what to do with them. Well, nowadays, I'm finding lots of ways to use them. You've seen how I've done the so many cards and so many minute videos and things like that. And I just think that's awesome to be able to take these guys and turn them into cards really fast. Or now today, turn them into ornaments really fast. Now, I'm being kind of persnickety here because I want to cut it just exactly right or as close to exactly right as I can. And sometimes that means you have to just kind of eyeball lay that piece down into your trimmer to know you're going to have it just right but i'll tell you this one thing i do love about this sheet is it doesn't have a gap between the photos because that whenever there's like a gap or a line between the photos it's like twice the work because you have to cut them down and then cut them down again and this way it's one cut and everything is done now i learned by experience to not try and cut these all at one time by like stacking them up and cutting through them all together because a lot of times you'll end up getting a little off on your cut and it won't be just right. So go ahead and take your time and cut these individually. Now that I've got all those pieces cut, it's time to cut the base for our ornament. I'm going to use two pieces of heavy chipboard. This is really thick, really heavy chipboard and I'm going to use a black piece and a white piece and I'm going to cut these down a quarter of an inch larger than those pieces that I just did. Therefore, I won't be able to get exactly the same amount of um, cuts out of this 12 by 12 as I did out of the original because I want a little bit of a border. So it's going to take me two pieces of chipboard instead of one. So I'm going to cut this down and I'm using my rotary for this because I love my rotary for chipboard. But you see how much I run it back and forth. And then that's cut through. So there's one piece. And I'm cutting these at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Now I've got all my 12 by 12s cut down. And this is the scrap that's left over from those two pieces. Now I am convinced I can go through my stash and find some scrapbook paper that will fit on these that I could turn these into ornaments as well. Maybe have some rectangle ornaments or some um, rectangles facing up and down like this. I'm sure I can use these for more ornaments. So I'm going to put these aside. And as the season goes, I'll dig through my Christmas paper and make more ornaments. So from one piece of chipboard, I got six pieces that are three and a quarter by four and a quarter and six pieces that are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Now, if you don't have chipboard this thick, something you can do is recycle or upcycle some cardboard boxes from your pantry, maybe cereal boxes or oatmeal boxes. You can glue them together and get thicker cardboard out of them. No reason to buy this if you've got this stuff at home. So try that. I actually had this in my stash, so I was pretty happy about that. The next thing I'm going to do is pick the ornament or pick the piece that's going to go on the front of my ornament. Look at that. How quick and easy, right? And I like this on the white because it gives it a good border. So that one's going to go there. This one doesn't have the white. So I think I'm going to put it on the black because I think it'll really pop there. Look how cute that is. So put that one aside. This guy's got a lot of white, so he's going to go on a black one. I think that'll be cute. And then let's try this one on black as well. I think that'll be cute. Yep. All right, let's do this pink on white. That'll be cute. Let your heart be light. How cute is that? Love it. I'm going to add this one to the black. And notice it has nothing on it. I'm going to find something that I can put there. I think I have an idea for it. So I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to add this one to this one. Look how cute that is. <gasps> Come let us adore him. Um, look at this sweet little bear and bird. Put that on the black. 
And look at that. That's cute. But I think I'm going to put that on the black one because I think it'll pop better. So put that one there. And then Joy. That's super cute just like that. And these are going to work out just fine. Look how cute. Love it. And then our last one is the green tree. So that's 12 of them just like that. Now it's time to put these guys down onto the page and I'm going to use sticky tape. This way I can get this done quick and easy with no drying time and I just think this will hold them really well into place. And I'm not going to be shy with it. I'm going to use a lot. I'm going to use three pieces here and I might even come back across, but I started with those three. So let me peel the backer off of these. Now when you're doing assembly line work, here's a tip. Have beside you a bowl or a trash can or something that you can throw all your little pieces of trash in so that when you're finished with this project, you don't have anything to really clean up because you've put everything into one little trash spot and it's easy and quick when you're done. Now I've got all my sticky exposed on the back and I'm just gonna go back to my little ornament and I'm going or to my chipboard and I'm going to center this into place just like so and stick that down and now all this needs is a hanger now I'm going to go through and do that to all 12 just the same way and we'll be ready to make them an ornament here's a little tip for you you can use the edge of an acrylic block to cut your tape and that makes things go super super fast when you're doing this little project so I just lay that acrylic block to the edge of the project and tear up and it gives me a nice straight edge so I don't have any hangover You might also notice that I changed the way I'm laying the adhesive. It doesn't matter which way. I just tend to get bored, so I change things up even in the middle of a project. So if you want to lay it all around like I did the first time, go for it. If you want to do it this way, do it this way. Whatever strikes your fancy. Remember how I told you I had an idea for this guy? Well, I do. I'm going to take some VersaFine um, Onyx Black Ink and the Nativity scene from our new stamp set called Celebrate the Season. And I'm going to stamp it on there. I think it's a perfect spot for it. And I'm just going to do it in black. I'm not going to worry about, you know, embossing it or anything like that. Get it good and inked up. And I'm going to stamp it right here in the center. Look how cute that is. That's perfect on there. Love it. And now I can have one of my stamps on my Christmas tree. And you can do this with your stamps. You could just take designer or just your solid paper, stamp some of your favorite images on and make ornaments out of it. How cool. All right. So now I have them all done. I need to let this one dry before I make a mess. So I have them all done. Now let's poke some holes in them so we can make them hangable on the tree. I want to show you something first though. I want to show you the different ways they put hangers on. I want you to see this. This is wire just put through that hole and then just twist it around. So not really, you know, professional looking necessarily, but some wire through a hole. This one, they just took ribbon and stapled it to the back. So don't think you can't just put some ribbon on the back of it. And then this one has a piece of twine that's stapled to the back in the middle. So it hangs like that. So get creative with how you do that. I think you can do just about anything. So I'm going to take the larger hole on the crocodile and I'm going to poke a hole in the corners of these tags. And I'm using the crocodile because it will go through this chipboard really easily through the chipboard and the cardstock and everything we have on it. And then I'll have a couple of holes there where I can put some ribbon or baker's twine or whatever I want to use to hold it onto the tree. So now I'm just going through my ribbon stash and I'm just going to choose some different ribbons to feed through these holes. And I'm gonna tie knots on the end to hold them in place. So there's one side. Let me tie a knot real quick. This is such a great project for you and your kids. And while I was doing this, I was thinking of all the ways that we could use these. Imagine making these as gift tags that can be turned into Christmas ornaments. Wouldn't that be cute if you gave this to somebody on a gift and they could use it as an ornament on their tree afterwards? And so I'm going to pull this over and see how much I want there. And I'm going to eyeball to tie another knot. So cut that loose. And tie another at the bottom. Oh, I better feed it through first. You see I almost messed up? Okay, feed it through first, then tie a knot. <laughs> now I fed that through. Now I can tie the knot and not be afraid of messing it up. Then I'm just going to come in and trim these down a little bit. And there you go, one ornament done. Maybe done, we'll see. Let me tie all the ribbons in these. What I'm gonna do is just pick different ribbons that I think coordinate with them. Here's a white ribbon, I think this will be pretty on here. 
So I'm going to feed this one through and do the same thing I just did. But each one, I'll just look at the ribbons that I have and decide what I want them to look like and change them up. Again, you can use wire, baker's twine, anything you have in your stash. So check it out, 12 ornaments, super quick and easy, but I'm not done. I'm going to embellish them a little bit. Now this is where you can say, I'm done or I want to do more. And I think it'll be fun to do a little yes. more and I play with glitter. Yep, real glitter. So I have this little like glitter catcher tray that I got from close to my heart way back when I was a consultant for them years ago. And I'm going to use that to catch my glitter. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue. How funny, that's what it's used for. So like on this tree, I'm going to put a dot of glue on the star. And then I'm going to come around and do dots all around this little circle. Just like this. Really messy. <laughs> and maybe a couple more on the tree, just to glitz it up. And I'm gonna use some gold glitter on this one. And I get the, I got these at Walmart. They're kind of self-contained and I kind of like that. And then I'm just gonna drip this glitter into that glue. Just sprinkle it into it. Tap it off. And whatever catches will stay. And now I have a glittery ornament. So there's one. I'm gonna sit it aside and let it dry. Ooh, I'm being brave. Oh my goodness. Okay, look at this guy. He's super cute. What color do I wanna use on him? Maybe red. Let's move the gold out of the way. I'm gonna go to the red glitter. And I think everywhere there's a um, little um, berry. I couldn't get that word out. I'm gonna put some glue on top and then I'm gonna put red glitter there. So you can glitz these up any way you want. And in a perfect world, I would be using my stickles because I'm not so big on real glitter, but I've been wanting to try it because a lot of you guys are using it and a lot of you guys love your real glitter. And so I thought, okay, I'll give it a shot. But I'm trying to do it as clean as possible, everything contained. Also, I don't mind this mixing because I have a jar that is mixed glitter and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all into the mixed glitter jar when I'm done instead of trying to do this all separately. But if you wanted to, you could do all your reds and then all your golds and then all your other colors separately. Now on a couple, I'm gonna lay down a thicker bead of glue and that way I can use a chunkier glitter. So here I'm just gonna lay in a thick bead of glue around this wording. And then I've got this really chunky glitter also from Walmart. And I'm gonna sprinkle it on all over that really thick bead of glue. See how cute that is? I like that. It's messy though, y'all. While I'm doing that glue, I'm going to go ahead and do these other images that I want that sparkly, chunky glue on. I'm going to do around this snow globe with some sparkly, chunky. That's really cute. See that? Ooh, look at the sparkle. Very pretty. I'm going to show you how this thing works. Since I only used the clear, the iridescent sparkle in here, now I can open this bottle. And this little guy has a little plug in it that I'm going to pop out the end. And then I'm just going to bring this over and all that glitter will then go down to the end and fall back into the jar. So isn't that cool? Now I'd already emptied out those multicolors I used together because I didn't want the multicolored stuff to get into here. And it doesn't get every piece, but it gets a lot of it out of there for you without making too much of a mess. So here they are all finished. And first, I must apologize about my voice. While these were drying, I got a cold over the weekend. And so now I sound like a frog. But anyway, that happened. So here's how they look when they're completely dry. Look how cute they are. Look at that shimmer. I love them. And I was thinking, you know, you could so do this with like your old Christmas cards. Like if um, people have sent you Christmas cards and you've hung on to them for years, you could easily turn them into ornaments for your Christmas tree. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do something like this, we want to see it over on our Facebook group, which is called May May Made It, and so did I. We love your inspiration, and we love to share with you what we're making. Again, I apologize for my voice. I hope to be better by Wednesday, but we'll see. Talk to you real soon, guys. Bye-bye.